Hello everyone, it's me Zach here, and today we will be looking at the GWR Pine Tank add-on locos. So this loco comes with 6400, 5700, the 8700 and a few other hundreds, plus also L92 London Transport. So here I'm on the South Devon Railway Line goes to Buckfastly to Totnes where you will see Totnes Mainline. We'll show you the locos here. So here is the 6400 loco and this does not belong to South Devon Railway but the 6412 and belongs to the South Devon Railway definitely. London Transport all known as L92 that also belongs to South Devon. The, uh, some, some of these I've just put down for fun. Uh, 6415, this still belongs to the 6400. 6400, 6415 do not belong to the South Devon, but I thought they might put them for fun. I can't quite remember, but anyone who knows this railway, uh, 6430, uh, I think it might belong to South Devon. So I was thinking we are going to test out the 6412, as that's one of my personal favourites of Locos. There we go. So we the whistle. This is the inside cab. I have to say, it looks very smart. Okay. Doors open. That's good. Um, I'm sorry, I am just testing that list out because I've just got this Loco today and I'm very much loving it. Oh, that's actually much easier than a normal uh, pannier tank. That's much easier. They are very hard to drive. And come by this engine, this is easy. And I'm gonna love it. I uh, forgot to mention this is my 16th birthday, and so uh, hence why I'm doing a special of reviewing this engine. Oh, they're much easier to drive. So yes, today is my birthday, and I thought I'll drive this loco and have a look at it. This is much easier. I enjoy- hold on. Why does that say 90? We're in a 10 limit. I enjoy this one. This is marvellous. What does the fire look like? Can't open it, there we go. That's wonderful. There we go. We're driving this. I'm getting used to it. Wow. This is truly amazing. No one has no idea how wonderful these locos are. It's spectacular. They're easy to drive. It's just a lot of fun. I absolutely love it. I've seen this quite a lot of times because it, it's absolutely spectacular driving one of these. How to say, anyone who has the South Devon Railway line, I recommend you getting these locos for this for this uh, track because they are absolutely amazing. And um, again, I would recommend it, uh, recommend it to anyone who has Train Simulator 2020, because it's just amazing. Very nice, very, very nice, I have to say. This might be my new favourite loco, to be honest. Love it. So that's the signal box at Buckford Slee. So what you see here is actually from real life as well. So they copied it from real life and copied it into a game. So all this is real. 
Okay, that's loud. Got what I put it on. There we go. Coupled up. Just like real life, hey? <laughs> you drive the actual train, the coaches, it's all brilliant. We'll just wait for the guard's whistle to blow and then we'll blow our whistle and we'll be heading off to Staverton today. We're not going to go far because this is a small review on the add-on locos. There we go, let's go. So if you just press space, you'll get the first whistle. Then if you press control space, you'll get a different whistle. So let's just watch it come from here. We're watching the 6412 leaving Bug for Sleep on the 12.13 p.m. train. This is wonderful, I absolutely love it. Amazing. Purely spectacular. It's incredible how realistic this is. Even the locos themselves, they, they are realistic to what real life is. Right, let's see what else I'm going to do. Right, we'll just press uh, FN4. And that brings me to this screen so we can have a bit of fun. There we go. Uh, there it is, sorry, just can't really see it, that's why. No, you can't open? Why not? Because that's in the way. This was in the way. Yes, it didn't cop it up. How fast am I going? I'm going 15. That's fine. It's got a quite a nice sound, actually. Marvellous. We'll go to five. Ah. I think I'm right at the front because... There we go. We'll drive it from the side. Makes it a bit better. We'll just shut the regulator because we are doing 20. And that is our speed limit. I'm speeding a little bit. Sorry. I know I shouldn't be speeding. That's fine. <laughs> I'm in free roam. It's not like I'm in career mode. That's okay. That that's a rather difficult mode. I'll give you that. Oh, that's our break. Okay, oops. Okay. Oh, you can see our water gauge. Woohoo! So you can see your water gauge and an oiling can. And this is the loco break. This is the uh, trim break here that controls this. Uh, I've got a new microphone anyway. I like it. Oh, that's taking breaks off. That off, just gotta check if it's off. Yeah, that's off. There we go. Let's open the regulator, shall we? Give it a bit more speed. So, let's see what we can do in the cab. So, we can. I know we can open doors. Wonderful, they open all the way there. Can we do the seat? Yes, we can. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, eh? 
move the reverser down to 36 and just shut the regulator. And over here, that's our um, that's our pressure gauge. That's our brake gauge over there. And this. That's the whistle. Very nice. We'll, we'll drive it from the outside, I think. It's a bit nicer. Let's see where we are. Where are we? I, I can imagine we're about a mile out from... Oh yeah, we're not too far. We're about... A mile and three quarters away from... Staverton, where we'll be stopping today. As this is a very short video upon the 6412. Just open the regulator a little bit. Keep the train going. I'll tell you what, we'll watch it from this field, shall we? We'll go high up. We'll see how it looks from here. <coughs> This is very nice. We are going on a slight downhill. Not a big downhill, just a very small downhill to be honest. That's lovely, that's really lovely. I've popped five coaches with this loco, because I think that's the thing it can take. I'm speeding again. What is it with me speeding? Because it's gone to be more of a downhill. Yeah, don't do what I'm doing. Don't speed. I'm doing 23. I was, anyway. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Come on, slow down. There we go. Release the brakes a little bit. There we go. We'll just keep the brakes on. When we come to a flat, I'll, I'll release all the brakes because then we're not doing, then we're not speeding or s slowing down. There we go. Release the brakes now, and we'll um, we're still speeding up. All right, we'll just pop it. The loco break on. That just sh that should hold us. Take that down a little bit. Okay, do that a bit more. That's 16 miles per hour. There we go. So um, as much as driving the 6412, I will also be testing out L92 and a few others, but off camera today. But I'm pretty sure um. We'll be looking more at these locos at some point at a late time and day, as I don't think I have enough time today to to do the rest of the review of uh, 6412 and L92 and everything. Okay, so we're about a mile out, and that is Staverton here. This is also has to be one of the, uh, being a good line. I love it. I did also my work experience here back in July last year. But in the time of year, it was very warm. But I rather enjoyed my whole week, Monday to Friday. It was very nice. Whilst here, I was doing all sorts of things, both doing TTI and a few other things. And helping them out. So, um, on my last day, uh, exactly with this loco, the 6412, there was a driver experience on the Friday, which has to be one of the warmest day, which is great. We have to be patient. Well, okay, let's see. What does They blow off, put the water in. Let's speed up a bit. Let's get rid of some steam, we've got too much. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on, too much, too much. Calm the engine down, come on. We've got too much water. We've got far too much steam. Put a bit of water in. We're up to 57% of water. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're down to about 151.4 um, boiler pressure, which is better. Where are we on the map? We are here. We're probably about a half a mile away from. Staverton Loop. This is the one place where you have to wait for two engines. Uh, the rest of it is a single track line. So if I had another engine here, I would have to put the six. I would have to stop six to four twelve in this loop here. And there we go. So I would have to stop six to four twelve here, and L ninety two can pass me. And go on to the other track. Sorry, I was just whistling to a car who honked at me for fun. Very nice. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going into the camera or or into the microphone here. There we go. About point sixty to Staverton. speeding up let's put some braking on come on come on slow down please there we go thank you very much thank you very much Lee. there we go nope 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 we're not gonna speed up <laughs> sorry that's me being a bit daft There we go. This is Staverton Loop. So this is where... So in this loop here was where I had to wait for the driver experience. So this is where we parked L92 and the 6412 came past us on this track here. But we are doing opposite with this one. We are driving the 6412 here. So 64 came on this track and L92 was stopped here. So yes, the first one is 10.30 and I think the last one is 4.25. That was the last trip. We'll just go very slowly through this. There's Staverton here. Try and just finish off the video here. We can't fit all the coaches in here, so if you do want to get off at Staverton, you need to be on the first two coaches to be off the platform. Well, if you, because obviously three of them can't fit on. You need to be in the first two coaches to um, get off this platform. To get off the train. Where's that one? Ah, we're in this coach here. We'll watch it from the platform. I know a couple of friends who work here. Oh, this, this is this looks a little bit different to what it does in real life. Well, we'll stop around here. Well, I'll wait here. I have been doing cycling as well. And past the cycles, uh, I have passed the Staverton station twice. It looks very nice. It's very peaceful. Personally, I, I like it looking peaceful. 
and I like it busy sometimes. But but yes, it looks very nice when it's peaceful in this time. Try and break. There we go. We'll open the doors. There we go. And thank you very much, guys, for all watching this video upon the GWR Panya Tank add-on locos. This from itself is from Steam, from the game. The South Devon line is from... I think I got it from some other place that's not from Steam. That you need to download it. But, again, thank you very much everyone for watching. Please do subscribe and put a like on it. Thank you very much for everyone for watching.